Today has been a day. Um, so we went up to Meadville, got a new license plate, like got the red Prius re-registered to us. We had to stop and get some food because Tim's making baked beans for the wedding tomorrow. So we needed to get a couple cans of these pork and beans, uh, just so we made enough. Um, and I got some Robitussin, got some Icy Hot because I messed my back up yesterday. Um, and some lighters for his mom and stuff like that. And he left the bag up there. Uh, so yeah, I messed up my back yesterday. I was leaving my mother-in-law's house and I fell. I don't know how I fell. I don't know why I fell. Uh, but I fell and I hurt my back and it's been like spasming all day, even last night. It's just, it's been... A long day already but Ella got some cute boots <laughs> um, so yeah I think me and Ella are gonna have to run back up to Meadville later probably as soon as he gets in from putting that license plate on and then I have to make these beans today and I just want to go to bed <laughs> so we just got home tell you what it's been a day so Tim called earlier to see about getting I told you guys back when we when we went to do family pictures we stopped and got some tires for the Equinox um, and he called and we had an appointment scheduled for December 23rd at 4 o'clock to go to get these tires put on the Equinox and they said that's the earliest they could get us in, that they were completely booked up. And we, Tim said that was fine. Uh, we made the appointment. And she said she would call him if anything turned up, like if they had any cancellations or what have you. So um, we, we just said, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And they ended up calling us at like one o'clock Ian said that they had a cancellation that someone hit a deer they no longer needed their appointment for that car um and we got a four o'clock appointment today which is really great um <laughs> it's been a day um so I had to go up there I ran a couple minutes late I got there at 405 um, luckily they got me in in time, but they were running late on everything. Um, and I had her with me. The waiting room area is small. It's got two chairs. Luckily they provide drinks and stuff like that for you. You can get coffee or they have soda, water. Um, they even had like a little juice box for her, which was great. Um, and then after, I'm like exhausted you guys. After we, or me and Ella left there, we came here, dropped the Equinox off, and went to Meadville. We got in the green Prius and went to Meadville. Um, I had to go and pick up the bag of stuff. I'm going to lay you guys down real quick. We had to go get the... Maybe... Okay, um, I had to go get the bag of stuff that Tim forgot up there, which is, I got this stuff, it's Equate Cool and Heat, it's like uh, Icy Hot Cream. Um, I got some Robitussin Maximum Strength um, Powerful Multi-Symptom Relief, because I cannot take... Um, like NSAIDs because I'm allergic to them. They send me to the hospital with an asthma attack. So we just got some Robitussin just so I had on hand if I were to get sick again. We got Tim's mom some lighters because she is a smoker and she goes through lighters like crazy. Um, and then Tim picked up a one a day men's multivitamin. Um, and then I used that as an excuse to finally stop at Home Depot by myself and get Tim his birthday present. Um, this is gonna be his birthday present. He's gonna get the other part of it for Christmas. Um, if I can get it out of the bag here. 
And that is this Milwaukee Press and Flip Fastback Compact Folding Utility Knife. Um, as you guys know, he loves Milwaukee brand things. He has a couple of Milwaukee knives, but no utility knives because the one he had was stolen. Um, so I'm replacing it. It comes with one blade already. Um, and then he has three other Milwaukee blades because he's loved this brand for a while. Um, and he's, I'm trying to build up his Milwaukee tool collection. So I got him that and then I'm going to get him some new blades for it um, for Christmas as well. So yeah, we are home. I am tired. I am hungry. I'm not able to cook dinner tonight because what I was going to make needed the pressure cooker uh, for the slow cooker uh, portion of it. But we've got... baked beans in there for the the wedding tomorrow um, and then we've got some more in the oven because obviously we need to make a lot of baked beans for the like the whole wedding uh, so we've got that going on uh, Tim was a saint and actually did dishes for me today which thank goodness because that's one less thing I have to worry about um, like I said, I messed up my back. I'll show you guys. I've got one of those uh, Thermomax patch things on it right now. Um, you guys, it seriously hurts. It hurts to bend down. It hurts to sit in the car. It literally hurts to sit in bed. And last night it was awful. I kept waking up and rolling over to reposition. I don't know how I'm going to wear heels for the wedding tomorrow, but we're going to figure it out. Um, I'm going to take my slippers with me, like my hard sole slippers with me to the reception so I can have something comfortable to dance and not really dance because, well, you know, uh, but something comfortable to walk around in. Um, so, yeah, I have to get her a bath, which I am dreading because of my back. I have to get her dressed and ready for bed. She's probably gonna go to bed at eight o'clock tonight. She napped for five minutes total today. We got up at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, it's currently 6.30, so, you know, she's been up for about eight and a half hours with a five minute nap. Um, I did lay her down in her room earlier for a nap, but she didn't nap and then we had to leave. Um, so yeah, she's gonna go to bed at eight tonight instead of nine. We have to get up at 8 tomorrow, be there at 8.30, help set up at 10.30. We're going to split, go get ourselves ready. Um, and then the girls are all going to go back to the bride's house. And the men are going to stay down at the town hall and get ready. And then we're going to leave the house, I don't know, probably around 2-ish, I think. And we're going to go to get pictures taken, like bridal bridal party pictures beforehand, which I'm excited about. I cannot wait to get them back. Um, and then, obviously, the wedding is at four, reception to follow. So, it's gonna be a long day. Um, I am gonna take her sound machine with us in the morning if I remember, hopefully. I swear to God, I hope I do. Um, and they have a son, which he doesn't use his crib. He sleeps in a pack and play. Um, so I'm gonna put her up in his crib so that she can nap while we're getting ready while we get our hair and stuff all done um and then when i'm all ready i'll get her up get her ready and then we'll leave for pictures so i'm gonna try and get as much footage as i can tomorrow i'm gonna charge my camera up tonight i don't know how much i'll get hopefully i can get some for you guys um but i'm gonna go ahead and end this here because after she goes to bed i gotta get a shower and then i'm gonna edit and get this scheduled to upload so that you guys will still have Vlogmas Day 7 tomorrow. And then Sunday is her pageant. So I am able to record that. I did make sure I was able to. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Bye.